Hey guys, how you doing here? Ron here with Donut All Finance. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Cerebro nodes on a VPS. So in my case, I'm using RackNerd and I'm going to go through the full tutorial, how to get updates as well as troubleshooting. So if you're running into issues, I'm going to show you how to do some workload commands that will get your node back up and running. I'm also going to show you how to reinstall or reinstate your server. Let's say your server crashed and you need to reinstall Unix. I'm going to go through that. So let's get into the video. But before we get into you, just going to do a little quick shout out to Donor.Finance. Check out our platform, Donor.Finance, the next GoFundMe blockchain smart contract driven ecosystem. We've got live campaigns. Whitelisting is coming soon. Every time a campaign closes, has successful funds, we do a buyback and burn deflationary token. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first step we're going to go through is buying the VPS. And you can see I'm at the racknerd.com forward slash black friday forward slash this uh swipe to reveal and the amount of time left is just going to keep repeating 13 minutes but i spoke with rackner because i i am an affiliate for rackner so if you want to get extra discount just use my affiliate link down below so it's black friday but they mentioned this upcoming friday they're going to have a better sale than this and this is the package that i purchased you could buy with visa mastercard i actually transferred usdt on the tron network to pay for all of my nodes i have 11 cerebro nodes so i selected this package very straightforward uh, i come over here order and what you do want to do is i pay annually you could change this name later you don't need the extra cores you don't need an extra ip location to me it doesn't matter it's included the operating system is key but let's say you want to change this and you made a mistake you can change this later. Okay, so the recommended for the Cere Cerebro node is Ubuntu 22.064. You click on continue. If my affiliate link works, you'll get an extra discount here. Click on checkout. Just always make sure and check my, my discount code. You might be able to get an extra 5 or 10% off. Sometimes they don't allow it on these special node prices because this is $38 for the year. It's very cheap. So continue to check out. Okay, so here are your options to pay. PayPal, credit card, BTC. Bolito, never heard of that wire transfer, and I don't understand Chinese or Stripe with Chinese. So then you, I selected Bitcoin. I have read the, I have read and agreed to terms and services, complete order. Okay, so now you're going to get uh, an invoice here and make sure, take a look at everything. The main thing that you want to make sure is that you have this operating system, Linux version. Okay, that's very key. And you can select BTC USDT. And like I said, there's multiple options in paying USDT because majority of you guys are into crypto. So click on pay now. And this is what I selected on the Tron network because you don't have to pay Ethereum fees. I use TrustSwap. And then from TrustSwap, I did a bridge over. So I had BNB. What I did in TrustSwap, because it's very easy on TrustSwap to bridge your, your Binance BEP20 tokens over to the Tron network. You just do a swap onto the Tron network and you want to swap it to USDT Tron. Okay. Not TRX, but USDT. Okay. So you select that. It's going to pop up. Okay. Then pull out your phone or whatever, and then just scan this QR code and uh, it's going to send. And then just don't close this window. You have 44 minutes to do so. And that's it. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. Once you have your note up, you're going to come into Racknerd. So once you've you've paid, you're going to get an email from Racknerd, okay, or your hosting provider. Your hosting provider is going to prov provide you the details, the IP address, the username, which is mo most likely going to be root, and then the root password, okay? And I'm doing this from a Mac. You could also do this from so it's called command line interface or CLI. If you're if you if you know Cisco routing switching or you know Unix CLI just is just a term that some type people use for command line. So what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna do on your Mac, you're gonna do a command and a space bar. And then in Spotlight, you can just write in terminal, click on enter. Right now I'm in a command on my this IP address. Okay, so on my Mac, I could come over here, come over to shell and I could do a new window with a basic profile and, and click and then now I'm in, now I'm in a new profile over here, okay? So now what you wanna do is if you have previous commands, you could scroll up. Or if you don't, this is what I like to do. I go SSH space root at, and then the IP address of your hosting provider. Okay, and that's gonna log into the hosting provider where you're gonna install the Cerebro node. So I'm gonna press enter. Okay, if you get this error, okay, this error, this pretty much means like you probably logged in from a different and a different machine or whatever, and it's gonna give you this warning remote host identified identification has changed. Okay, there's two ways of fixing this. And let me just grab the, the key. Let me just grab the 
command on how to remove this. What you want to do is you want to take your IP address, copy this, and you want to type in SSH dash keygen space dash R and then your IP address. Okay. So I'm just going to delete IP address and I'm going to replace it with the IP address over here. So I'm going to copy this, put this over here, paste it, press enter. Okay. So now uh, this should work. I'm just going to do an up arrow to get my previous command where I wanted to SSH root. Okay, perfect. And then you're gonna get back to this. Are you sure you wanna continue uh, the fingerprint and just press, or sorry, just type in yes, Y E S. Select yes and now put in your password. I like to copy and paste. You're not gonna see your password type in here. Okay, so just paste it and you won't see anything. Type in, just press enter. Okay, perfect. So now you can see that I'm in the root of at my rack nerd and this is my rack nerd ID for that, that host for that server. And now what you want to do is you want to follow these commands. So I'm assuming you purchase your Cerebro no node license and everything. So I'm not going to go through this. I'm just going to go step to step four. And you want to run this command. Okay, so this might be an outdated command because this was on, this was four days ago and we had some errors where the UFW was enabled and you don't want that enabled because it, it doesn't allow you to get back into, into terminal. Okay, so yesterday, Julio, the CEO, mentioned this because a lot of people were having some issues when the nodes went down. And this is the updated command that you want to run. Okay, so you want to run this command. You just copy this, which is actually the exact same. I guess they updated this document. So you just want to grab this. Okay, you want to copy that. And then you want to put it into command line and just do a paste. And then you're going to press enter. Okay, and I'm not going to do this because I've gone through the setup. So once you've gone through the setup, the next prompt that you're gonna get here is if prompted to restart services, press okay. So you're gonna get a window that looks like this. All you're gonna do is press okay. Once you see this window, the first thing you wanna do is select um, Dbus, okay, Dbus service and then system manager. If you don't see that, the only thing that you have to do here is just on a Mac, you could just arrow to the brackets and then press the space bar. And then to get to the OK, you just press tab and press OK. So you'll see two of these pop up ones. And if you don't see the list of of asterisks needed here, just press tab and press OK, because you'll probably see two of these purple windows. And then it's going to provide you with your private key. It's going to come up with this screen here. It's going to say, here is your private key and then your node address. Your node address is the, is the main thing that you want here because you're gonna add it to uh, the LFG node dashboard. So click on here. The next part is you wanna go to node.lfg.inc and it's gonna bring you to over here. The first thing you wanna select is make sure that your wallet is connected to the same wallet where you bought and you minted your node, okay? I'm assuming that you've minted your node and that you have your node there. So you can see I've got 11 out of 11 running. So it says here, connect your wallet. After connecting your wallet, click on add node. So you're gonna click over here, you're gonna click on add node. You're gonna put in that add node address. Now, if you have a lot of nodes, the way I like to name my nodes on a spreadsheet is I'll do C1, C2, C3. You know, if you have founders nodes, a lot of founders nodes, you could do F FN1, FN2. But for me, I just did C1, C2, C3. C sounds for Cerebro. My naming convention is a little different. Uh, dash, and then the IP address. Uh, some people don't like to do the dash, the IP address, because then you're exposing your public IP address and, you know, people can know that it's this. But for me, it's these are not, like, you know, worth a million dollars yet, these nodes, but you know, like it's just not something that you should do. Um, but I do it anyways, or maybe you could put the last address, you know, C2-183 because that's the last octet of your IP address, meaning um, it's the last. So this is your first, second, third, and fourth IP address range, which is 183. And this is a static address. It'll always stay 183. It's not dynamic. This is just a static IP address that you'll always, that you will always have on your system because it's a public IP. And then uh, click on add and then you come back over here once you've added it you click on confirm you're gonna get a pop-up address on your MetaMask you want to make sure that you confirm this okay you're gonna to return to the uh, the terminal and then you're gonna see the output would look similar to this okay it's running and it's gonna ask you this next enter the workload number you'd like to add and select one and then the next screen is gonna pop up would you like to add another workload I select no and that is it. And then once you once you're done there, you've already added your node. And then just do a refresh up here. So I'm in Brave Browser. Just do a refresh, 
and it might take two minutes, might take five minutes. So anyways, just do a refresh and then you're gonna see your node online as well as you're gonna see it online here. So the next steps I'm gonna go through is on RackNerd, how to reinstate, reinstall RackNerd and then some issues like troubleshooting that you could perform if your node isn't responding. So let's say you're getting blocked from different ports and firewalls. So Cerebro nodes, you could come over here and do sudo ufw allow 22 and just copy this. This is all you have to do is copy that, come back to terminal. I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm gonna click this and click on paste, okay? And then follow the next one, copy this and paste it. Okay, same thing, enter. Now let's say you can't get into your node and you need to reboot everything, re reinstall. This is how you do it in RackNerd. And let's say you lost your email address with the IP address, the username, the root name for your logging information. You're gonna come over here to the dashboard and you're gonna go view email log. And you're gonna see this, just scroll through your message through your inbox here. It's just gonna say K KVM v VPS login information. Okay, so that's all of the login information. And to reinstall your node or default your node back to zero or back to the back to basics. So to, so to get a fresh installation on your node, the first thing you wanna do is view that message. And you're gonna look for the, the KVM, KVM VPS log information with the URL of nerdvm.racknerd.com. This is gonna allow you to get into another control panel where you could VNC and do other options like change your IP address, change your password, etc. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna right click and open it, open link in new tab, okay? The reason why I do that is so I can uh, just copy and paste this information here. So I'm just gonna copy this username, come over here, paste that in, uh, take my password, copy this and log in. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a list of your, your IP addresses, okay? So find out the IP address that you wanna default, okay? You wanna make sure that it's the right one, okay? So make sure it's the IP address that you wanna manage. And I'm just gonna do this example. I'm gonna come over here and click on manage. And if you want to reset your password, come over here to root admin password. Okay, and then click on change and then follow the steps. It's very straightforward. Um, once you change it, you want to make sure and copy your new root password. Okay, because your root password, they're going to display it at the top left here. Now, if you want to reinstall it back to scratch, click on reinstall. And then you want to make sure before you select OK, you want to make sure that you reselect the operating system because the next screen it's going to ask you what operating system that you want to, what, what version you want to select, whether it's Windows, Linux, etc. you know, 22.0464 bit, and that's it. So here's another option to, to get into VNC. If you can't um, do the command space and do terminal, you could always do this from um, VNC. Like this is basically terminal emulator that you can get into CLI into your node. If you can't do that, you just come into Ragnard and just do it from here. So click on VNC, uh, click on HTML5 VNC client, and it's gonna give you the exact same interface that you can uh, tell that or do command line interface um, command. So just come over here, press enter. Okay, now put in your root, which is that command, which is SSH space root at your IP address, put in your password, and then just follow the instructions that I said in the beginning of the video, follow those steps on the document and you should be good to go. So that's the second way of, of not using terminal. If you're running Windows, follow the instructions from that document. But when I run on a Windows session, instead of doing this, there's a tool called PuTTY and VNC also has information here, or sorry, RackNerd has information on how to use PuTTY on a Windows um, client like Windows 11. Let's say you're running Windows 11 and you're not running Mac and you want to use PuTTY to Telnet or to do CLI into your node, you can run PuTTY. So anyways, that's it for the video. Hope you like it. Give me a follow, like, subscribe. And if you want to know more about Donut.Finance whitelisting, let me know. Reach out to me. I'm in the Discord group of Magneto HR as well as Gold, Gala Gold, Founders Nodes, etc. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.